Good morning, St. Martins. Um, so today's devotion is going to be on the book of Job. Um, so Job's story starts off with God and Satan having a conversation. So in this conversation, God says, There is no one like Job on earth. He's blameless, he's God-fearing, and he constantly turns away from evil. But then Satan challenges God, saying, Job doesn't just love you for nothing. Um, he only fears you because of the lot of uh, possessions that you've blessed him with. Then God allowed Satan to torment Job. So this is with God's sovereign permission. Um, Satan was allowed to torment Job. So with four fire disasters, Satan killed Job's ten children, his servants, and destroyed his many livestock. So only four people remained from those fire disasters. These are the people that came to Job and, and delivered the message about what had happened. So after Job got this message, he just tore his robe, his, he shaved his head, he fell on the ground and just worshipped God, saying this in Job chapter 1 verse 21. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I shall depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. So this is Job initially. He praised God. But then with time, things got harder for him. He later got sick. And his wife told him to just curse God. Um, but he refused. His friends came, but they were really of no help. They actually just kept creating a list of uh, and speculating possible sins that Job had committed. As to why God was punishing Job. And then Job just became hopeless. He even cursed the day he was born. So one moment Job was confident about, about God's goodness. Another moment he was just doubting if, if God is really just. Then Job reached a breaking point where he just demanded that God come and explain himself to you. So God meets Job, but he doesn't give him a direct answer. So God kind of, so in Job chapter 38, okay, <clears throat> so Job, so God just um, takes Job on a tour of the universe, asking Job if he understands anything about how the world works, because God does and he knows and he's intentional about, about every detail of it, even those scary animals that we all just fear are part of God's creation. Um, so then this just leaves Job, which is the lesson we should learn really, in a place of humility that God's wisdom is beyond his understanding. And really, God's wisdom is beyond our understanding. And that even if God were to explain it to us, it might just even be beyond our comprehension. Um, so then Job becomes at peace. Job, Job uh, just gains peace from that and he accepts God's ways, God's wisdom of things and in good or bad he, he just um, trusts that God is in control of everything, that God is sovereign. Um, so that's really the lesson we should learn. And then since God is good, um, so through God's grace, God then gives um, Job seven sons and three daughters like he had before he doubled the number of his livestock that he had previously and job lived 140 years he saw his sons his grandchildren up to four generations um so this is really the lesson that that job learned that we could learn from so let us pray holy all-knowing and all-powerful god Teach us to have the right view of you over Satan, or over Satan, always remembering that Satan does not have the decisive nor the final hand in all situations, Lord. Teach us to see your compassion in all situations, Lord, including this moment of the coronavirus. Thank you, God, that all things, good and bad, work together for our good and ultimately for your glory. And God, through your grace, um, do for us what only you can do. Humble us before you. Give us wisdom in comprehending and yielding to your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Bye.